Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think we're due for a random run. 12 wins in a row, hey, nothing to sneeze at. And an Eve run is gonna ruin it. Theoretically, at least. Let's see what we got going on here. I shouldn't be so negative. 10ZG, AVVA. Weirdly, aesthetically uh, satisfying seed there. Now, an XL floor is normally a really, really bad thing when it shows up on the first floor. You get to save some keys, which is actually admittedly kind of nice, given the fact that we, uh, as of right now, have zero. However, man, Eve starts with pretty high base speed, too, huh? That's wild. Um, but uh, it's kind of nice, actually, to be able to dodge these enemies a little bit more easily than usual. Maybe Eve's not as bad as I thought. I always have this weird kind of, like, sine curve relationship with characters. Where except for like Isaac and, and Judas and Azazel and Eden basically, I like I like them for a while and then I don't like them and then I come back to liking them eventually. Um, but yeah, uh, we're really at risk of messing up our first floor deal with the devil. And that would be terrible because if we get a first floor, or well technically second floor deal with the devil here, then we uh, stand a very good chance to not only get the deal with the devil, but basically get the advent, uh, advantage of putting ourselves in the horror of Babylon state as well. It's not going to be the easiest thing to swing, but if we could just get one Spirit Heart, like there is a Tinted Rock, all we need is for one lucky bomb to drop, like over the course of the next few rooms hopefully, and we could be fine. Or we could just not get hit, which is admittedly kind of like the more user controlled option, like that puts things, that puts the ball in my court so to speak. In the court of the Crimson Ball. That's a King Crimson reference right there. So I figure, you know, rather than going to these big rooms, the big rooms on the first couple of floors, they really grind my gears, man. I'm going to try to kill the bosses without getting hit. And I kind of hope that our first boss would give us a way to get some spirit hearts, but we're either going to get Steven or Little Steven. Let's be honest, pretty much like a 99% chance we're going to get uh, Little Steven. I've only had... It's probably not literally a 99% chance, but I I've only had... Uh, regular Steven like two times. So I'm feeling like little Steven is probably the more likely outcome here. Just gotta kinda set this up properly so that the Steven is chasing us the way we want to be chased. Like we really just want to keep him on the outside. There we go. So I wanted to avoid shooting little Steven for just a second there so we could get big Steven back within our sights. Kinda got lucky there I think. I'm actually a little nervous about the way that this fight is going. Um, not not really doing as much damage as quickly as I'd like. There we go, that was good enough. Now we've only got little Steven to deal with. He can still be a bit of a pain in the butt, but we'll at least pick up some extra DPS one way or the other right here. Maybe we'll get super lucky and just get a consumable Spirit Heart drop. That would give me a lot of peace of mind in case we end up fighting an enemy who's a little annoying. But of course we get little Steven. And we're going to be fighting Monstro. All things considered, still a pretty lucky start to this run. Uh, to not be fighting more difficult bosses in the early game here. We're very lucky we're on the basement instead of the cellar. If it had to be basement XL, we, we fought two of the bosses that make it most likely that we don't take damage. And we got very lucky to not have to go through any big rooms in order to actually access this boss room. Shouldn't be counting our chickens yet, but it is pretty easy to stay out of Monstro's, uh, out of his line of sight and out of his range. And after this, hopefully we get like an HP upgrade from Monstro or some Spirit Hearts. And then a 1 HP deal with the Devil would be perfect. So we got a coat hanger, so now a 1 HP deal with the devil would be perfect. We got a 2 HP deal for the pact, which is actually really good. But I think because we can take both here and live, we will take both. So we have Book of Belial, which will give us exclusively deals with, well, it'll open up every deal with the devil for us in the future, which is awesome. And uh, the pact not only gives us the pact ability, but also allows us to have some spirit hearts and be in horror Babylon state. Uh, which is is amazing. This is excellent. Now we really got to be smart with the rest of this floor. I would love some more HP, but I don't really want. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't really want red hearts. I want spirit hearts, and I I could take one raw HP, and I wouldn't mind it. Best bud is pretty good, but we want to avoid taking something like maybe lard. We have a little bit of control over lard, like whether or not we fill up the the heart containers because it only gives us a half heart uh, that's pre filled. There's a Tinted Rock that I'd rather open before I open um, that chest. And we only have one bomb, so I'm hoping to buy another Spirit Heart before the end of this floor as well. And the Onk is actually a really nice pickup for peace of mind. I feel a lot better. We can breathe a little sigh of relief. Uh, even if we die, we'll come back. And when we come back, we'll come back as Blue Baby, I think is actually the way that that works. You don't come back as your character 
plus the spirit hearts, or like, but with spirit hearts, you come back as blue baby, so we might lose Horde Babylon. But I'm not 100% clear on that, actually, so don't quote me just yet. We're also at 13 cents, which is very nice. Uh, if we could get to... Where's this tinted rock, by the way? Is it down here, maybe? Yeah. If we could get to 15 cents, I wouldn't mind buying something from the shop. It's not like we have a... Uh... Interesting. It's not like we have a... Uh... I think we're... Oh, we'll try to get the Spirit Heart. It's not like we have a Blood Bank, I should say, coming on the next floor. And even if we did have a Blood Bank theoretically coming on the next floor, it's not like we would really... Very stupid of me. It's not like we would really even want it, because we don't have any HP to back it up with. Can we make it out of here? It's gonna be annoying, but we can make it. Now, do I take... Ooh, do I take Tammy's head, or Book of Belial? I love Tammy's head. But Book of Belial, I think, is just, it's in a class of its own right now. We need the deals with the devil. I would like the extra damage bonus as well, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. In fact, if I was being a little less conservative, I would probably already call this a one run. I was hoping that that was not two red chests. Yeah, good. Um, but uh, I would probably call this a one run. The only thing that makes it possibly not a one run, and I mean this sincerely, is, is our lack of HP. If we can get, like, even a Relic, or a Miter, or even a Mom's Pearl, like, we're gonna be in a really, really kind of unassailable position, basically. I don't want to open two of the, the golden chests just yet. Like, we, we're gonna scale so quickly because of this deal with the Devil. If we just, like, get our, or our Book of Belial, I should say, if we just get our Krampus tax out of the way as quickly as possible, there's not much that can, uh, that can hold us back. Except for just absurdly bad uh, RNG, getting like exclusively red chest deals with the devil that don't contain items. So Fetus is uh, not Fetus. <laughs> What's wrong with my brain? Fate is uh, it's still Dayquilled out a little bit here. Um, Fate is uh, absolutely worth taking here. It's not going to ruin our horror Babylon state and gives us basically a free ability to fly. It's a no-brainer pickup in this situation, and makes me very glad that I did get rid of all the HP that we could get rid of on the last floor. We even got another key back here, so it was well worth it. I should be on Dayquil more often, man. It is making my play uh, kind of better, I think. We're pulling out a fairly like effortless 12 win streak here. Looking like it's gonna be 13. A lot of that's luck. But a lot of anything in Isaac is luck. Skill counts for something. But uh, luck is kind of like the dominant factor, I think. Um, not not in whether or not you win, but in, in how quickly you get to that win, I think. You know, the, your skill stat in Isaac determines how bad of a run you can have and still win, in my opinion. That's a very, it's a gross oversimplific oversimplification there, but uh, you get the idea. 14 cents, I am hoping to buy champion belt. This is an often kind of secret room location down here, so I figured we'd try it, and there's some easy money. We'll go back and get Champion Belt, and I'm feeling very, very good about that. Little extra damage. I'm not actually sure if it creates more champions, and I'm not sure if it creates more champions. On, on hard mode, that is. I'm not sure if it, if it uh, creating more champions would actually be a bad thing, even if it does. Which, I think my hunch is that it probably does just, like, increase the rate of champion spawning. I... Very stupid decision. Virgo's a great pickup, but why wouldn't I get the golden key before going into the item room? We had enough keys, but that doesn't change the fact that it's it's a very suboptimal decision. Cost us a key for no reason. Unlikely to make the biggest difference in the run, but hey, you know, you gotta admit when you make mistakes. If I'm gonna complain about people complaining about things that I don't think matter, I might as well acknowledge, like, genuine uh, misplays as well. Otherwise it comes across as a little bit uh, disingenuous, wouldn't you say? We should be able to get a chain reaction, or not. Well, maybe still. I'm actually thinking that maybe when I go back there, I can kick that bomb and get to a second secret room. Although, now that I think about it, I'm going to have to kick it, like, up. And it's going to explode relatively quickly. That's going to be annoying. Alright. Now, the best case scenario for this kind of stuff, in my opinion... Well, I mean, best case is, like, Magic Mushroom, all stats upgrades. But if I could get, like, 1 HP and then immediately trade 1 HP for something that normally would have cost me 3 Spirit Hearts, I would love to. But Cat and Nine Tails for plus 1 damage and some shot speed is pretty good. And we actually only had to pay 1 Spirit Heart, technically, for that. So, I like Rotten Baby. I think it's a great pickup. Ah, I fucked it up. <laughs> That's okay. So, the Rotten Baby pickup is nice. 
We still have the Ankh as our ultimate fail safe, but I'm not really that worried about our lack of HP right now. Not the be all end all. And we'll have one red heart on the next floor, but because we're Eve, it doesn't really matter. We'll be able to, uh... We'll be able to be in the Whore of Babylon state regardless of that fact. I still think there could be like an eternal heart here, but why would I even... Oh, alright. Why would I want an eternal heart anyway, now that I think about it? We're just gonna... I guess we would have wanted a black heart out of it. Either way. Let's do this. Blood bank right off the bat. We could get super lucky here, I mean... I guess I'm mostly thinking that this would be an awesome place to farm for a little bit of money. I don't really want the IV bag payout or the, uh... Or the blood bag payout. You could actually make a case that the IV bag would be pretty good. Because it would pretty much guarantee us... Uh, to stay in our whore Babylon state, but I don't think it's that essential. Like, Book of Belial is just far better, but there is a, there's probably a case to be made. That if you were worried about it, if you had a lot of HP and no Book of Belial, IV Bag would be a great pickup with whore Babylon, whether you're Eve or not Eve. And this is our damage uh, before Book of Belial is applied. This is actually pretty good. I'm not going to say that it's the most damage we've ever had at this point in the game, but it, it's really quite nice here. Normally, I'd be expecting to take a lot longer in that room, and of course, that means that, much to the chagrin of many people watching, Boss Rush will indeed be a possibility if that's the sort of thing we're interested in. Is it? Well, we'll see. You know, it has to be weighed with a, a number of things, I guess. Whether or not we have a teleportation card, how much I hate myself, how much I hate the audience, apparently, if you, if you believe what you read. But I, uh, I can make a pretty good case for actually, like, doing boss rush on this run, not just, uh, teleporting in and out. With four bombs, I, I saw where the situation was there, by the way. With four bombs, we gotta try to bomb our way into our item room, instead of, uh, wasting our only key for it, because we can use that for the shop instead. And that is, uh, the Cancer pickup. That's awesome. Virgo and Cancer are two of my favorite, uh, horoscope or zodiac items. Very happy to have them. I have to get them confused, so now that we have like double the, or we have both of their effects, then it doesn't really matter if I get them confused, does it? Doesn't matter to me, at least. There's options, good, and you know what? Why not pick up a uh, hive mind as well? We're spawning some spiders and flies. At the very least, we know hive mind will benefit rotten baby. And there's options is great because, I mean, I think it's even better as a character where we're trying to keep Horror Battle on afloat because. If there's HP, we don't just have to say like, oh, if it's HP, I'm not going to pick it up. We can say if there's HP, we'll pick up whatever the other thing is. Or we could choose to pick up the HP if we wanted to. Um, in this situation, I'm just going to take Blood Clot, though. Guppy items is the best case scenario here, and we did at least get one. Not really the greatest payout we could possibly expect, but it's okay. Liberty Cat making us very fast here. I'm hoping to farm up some more keys, because I really want to open that golden chest. But I don't really want to spend, uh, like, one key to open it if it's our last key. I I'm happy to spend one key, but we need to have more keys before that becomes viable. Child's Heart. Child's Heart is something I, I hope is never viable for us, weirdly enough. Tears Upgrade is awesome, and the Sun card um, will save for... What I'm thinking is potential secret room plays. Shooting all the poop here, not just to min-max, but because we're ahead of the curve time-wise. Slightly, at least. Still only one key. I'll do a little bit more exploration here, at the very least. Ah, good, a curse room. If we get another guppy item here, I would actually be really impressed, but... It's probably like... A guppy item on the curse room is probably like a 1 in 5, 1 in 8 kind of thing. But we got the mark for free, so I'm very glad that we took our time there. And let's uh, head down to the next floor feeling a little bit more confident about things. Just a really, really solid run. No one item... Oh, we got some extra keys, too. No one item blowing it out of control right now, but... Uh, a collection of items helping us out a great deal right now. I'm not that worried about playing the Blood Bank. Not overly concerned. Let's just uh, head down here to the next floor. And... Uh, We'll probably still hold on to this sun card. My thinking is that, you know, the later we can use it, if we can use it... I didn't really want to do that. But I will take Ace of Spades, so... I don't love that we lost a key there for something that's kind of debatably good. Probably should look for some spirit hearts. Um, but I think it... It was technically sort of worth it. 
There is a way we can cheese the system here a little bit, but like I was thinking we would go to the deal with the devil, trade our HP away, then get nine lives and we might get the extra HP. But uh, I figured we'd just do things the easy way. Take dead cat right off the bat. It's looking exceptionally likely that at some point in this run we'll probably be able to become guppy. And that, if nothing else, will seal the deal. But the deal is probably already sealed right now. I'm thinking that this one is just a little bit too far out of the game's control to really come back from. We'll talk about that. I would like to take that because it makes it very convenient to crack those skulls. And I like cracking those skulls. However, I, uh, I really don't want to take ourselves out of the Horror of Babylon state. But if we get rid of some HP, I'm worried that we're going to fight Krampus on this floor. Which is, I'm not worried Krampus is going to kill me at all. You know what? I actually feel like I'm going to use the sun card right there just to speed up this annoying room. Um, only good effects, or only not bad effects at least. I wouldn't say the wizard is a good effect, but um, I, uh, I want to see if we get a deal with the devil that actually like requires HP. Because if we get a deal with the devil that requires HP, we can go back for... Um, we can go back for uh, Thunder Thighs. And if we don't get Thunder Thighs, then so be it. But I would I would really like to. Like, the speed downgrade doesn't really affect me all that much, I think. I'm already pretty fast and at the ability to fly. Time waits for no one, though, here. We gotta get a move on, even though we got, uh... Are you a wizard? It's helping out. There we go. Well, it's not helping out, but it's not hindering us that much. Rotten Baby's doing a ton of damage. I think we got him. Let's go fight our boss here, and that'll... Give us a little bit more of an indication of where we stand going forward with this. Where it's really risky is if this guy gives me HP as well. Let's hope he doesn't. I guess we have theirs options, so that's kind of as much within our control as anybody else's. Easy fight. Still took damage. This is a weird one. Let's come in here first. Okay, so we want to take Guppy's Collar for sure. And then we, we can take Super Bandage. And trade it away. I mean, I get the idea behind Satanic Bible, but I'm going to trade it away for Demon Baby because we already have an awesome spacebar item. And then I could trade it away for... I could trade our HP away for Satanic Bible if I wanted to, but uh, th this is a one run in about ten different ways right now. It didn't seem like this run was ever going to be a lost run, but it is, like, insanely one. We're Guppy with Hive Mind and Whore of Babylon and crazy damage. Uh, I think I'll just buy the key in here. Why would I want a Satanic Bible? You raise a very good question. The question is more though, would I want uh, would I want to be all on Spirit Hearts instead of being, that's not our item room, would I rather be all on Spirit Hearts or would I rather have one HP? And that's kind of a complicated question honestly, I'm not totally sure how I feel about that. Feeling like I probably will not need to uh, blow up uh, any skulls, or it, I, I should say blow up those fires because I will just be able to crush them with my feet instead, or crush enough skulls with my feet that we'll be able to get to the HP cap. Brain broke a little bit there. That's okay, there's one bomb up there I missed. Two of hearts, not expected to be worthwhile. Lovers, not expected to be worthwhile. Justice, pretty good though. Sticking with the gauze, uh, because we... Might end up with like a Curse of the Unknown on the next floor, and Curse of the Unknown on the floor with Boss Rush is just the most annoying shit in the whole world. Try so hard to get to a room where you don't even know what the freaking items are, you end up picking up like a range upgrade. You don't even know, man. Polyphemus could have been right there. So we're gonna see what our curse is. Maybe we'll end up saving this. I think it is worth doing that. And I chose to stick with our HP just in case we can do something with it in the future. Don't really want Monster Manuel. Don't really want to deal with this host, but you know, you can't always get what you want. Time-wise, I think we're going to be fine. I don't think I need to worry about boss rush. If we get to it, we get to it. And I think I could easily, or at least fairly easily, kill the bosses. Especially seeing, you know, what I get from, um... What I get from our, uh... Item room and shop, etc, etc. Double key room scares me. I'm not going to go to the double key room just yet. I plan on going to it, but we need to get more keys first, just in case. I want to prioritize our item room in our shop. Sorry if I'm tryharding a little bit right now. The mood has stricken me, though. Uh, that's not going to be a secret room, so we can't bomb our way into it sneaky-deaky-like. We might be able to... No, that was a symmetrical room, right? Like, we can't bomb our way in 
to the item room from the other side. There's another key anyway. All right, so now we can come in here. Lazarus's rags. We have like eight different res items. This is uh, short of getting nine lives uh, twice, like once from Ultra Pride and once from a red chest. This is the most I think I've ever had, um, life-wise. I'll take Pulse Worm. Admittedly, I would love to say like, oh, Pulse Worm, I just take it because it's silly. I, I like Pulse Worm, man. I don't know what it is. I don't think it actually gives you a good effect. But I got a soft spot for my shots looking weird like that. I think it's some, what it effectively, yeah, very smart idea. What it effectively is is a morale boost. Are we done? Wait, can I leave? Yeah, what it effectively is is a morale boost. And uh, when my morale's higher, I, I play better, man. So yeah, you got me. We have the Hermit card. I'm probably gonna try to teleport out of the boss room. Just wanted to donate some money first. You can't hate on a man that's giving to charity. Tower card. I understand the value of it and am going to choose not to use it regardless. Hoping for some black hearts, but that's okay. I'll settle for a hero font card. Starting to hate these guys a little bit. You know what we need is Holy Mantle. Okay, what we also need is to not stand right next to the fire. That one's on me. I'll take the I'll take the blame for that one. All right, let's swing boss rush here. We got a teleportation card so we can do it super easily. Not anticipating much of a problem from mom here, or we could choose to fight it if we wanted to. Like, our fight against mom is really fast here. Let's check out our deal with the devil. We got so much time. Definitely taking Polaroid. Deal with the devil is gonna be Krampus. For Krampus's head. Let's see what we got here. If there's anything that makes us amazing, I had to try, man. Soy milk plus guppy, it just seems like a match made in heaven, right? I'm assuming that, like, what I was thinking, soy milk is not actually a 90% damage degradation, it's an 80% damage degradation. But I thought that by doing it, oh yeah, let's crank on this too. I thought that by doing it, we'd get enough flies to compensate for it, especially considering that our flies are affected by hive mind. So it's a bit of a weird play. Look, like, I'll give you that, it's a weird play. But I think it might not just be silly. It's silly, but it might be silly and good. I'm always looking for new opportunities for these like misfit items that, that people don't respect, you know? Some of them I think people don't respect for good reasons. Soy milk, I am oftentimes in the same camp. I think, uh, I think soy milk oftentimes sucks really bad and can ruin your runs. But I think in this one weird situation, it's actually awesome. One weird situation in which soy milk wins you the run. You'll be talking about this all day. Like the flies are still pretty freaking good here. This guy's scared of it. This should give us a spirit heart. I'm not thinking we're gonna like do better than breaking even here. Where's my uh where's my Virgo Celtic Cross effect, by the way? I can't wait until we fight like mom's heart just to see how many flies we can generate per second. And I also can't wait to see what item we actually get at the end of this. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. See, that was like, dude, our soy milk uh, brims or soy milk uh, guppy run here is actually pretty freaking sweet. These flies are tearing ass, man. We're, we're basically shooting like a brimstone laser of flies. We're pretty much shooting flies at this point. All right, Pin's gonna be here. This guy stands no fucking chance. Yeah, we got the husk in the hollow. Yep, stay away from that guy, he could explode. Good stuff. We're never gonna be at a shortage for flies. Then we got this scumbag right here who should pretty much already be dead. And we're already on the horseman. This is a pretty good indicator that this is actually going very well. Shot speed's good enough to take that guy out easily. We're on the horseman. Sorry, I could have killed that fam in second and I would have gotten a spirit heart, but it's a relatively minor concern right now. Take death out before he spawns too many bomb flies. Thank you. Very dumb damage on my part. There he is. I really thought that he would enter the running state before then. He's a little too fast for my flies. 
Oh, come on. This is just silly. There we go! That's what I was looking for. We still got a Spirit Art there. Starting from scratch here on our, uh, on our flies, but we'll build up like a hundred in a second. And that'll do it right here. Oh, this guy. Come on, Polyphemus or something. Libra. Yeah, we'll go, um, we'll go Fat Odd Mushroom and not fill it up. I'm assuming that we'll have a chance to trade on the next floor. And we've already gotten what's in there. Uh, yeah, I think we can afford to Hermit out of here. We'll just take a little bit more time. We've already donated, so anything we buy is guilt-free. Tears upgrade, for example. Not that we need it. <laughs> uh, and we'll do some more exploration here. Just do your best not to pick up any red hearts. Because losing the Whore of Babylon State is going to make everything a lot more tedious. Like, really, really pay attention to where those red hearts are. There could be a blood bank on this floor, though, so it's not all lost if we fuck it up. Hmm. I would like it if the shots hit a little harder. I mean, that's kind of like the obvious problem with this run. But what we lack in, like, individual quality of shots, we definitely make up for in quantity. Can't even hide over the rocks. <laughs> I'm destroying, like, my own defensive ability here. Ain't nobody strong as me. I've got soy milk and guppy. So my soy milk and guppy. Pee. Doesn't really work. All right, well, that's going to do it. I'm really glad I back truck and got uh, pretty much nothing of value there. It will be very interesting to see how this run works in the future. Free ghost baby. Free ghost baby! That was a joke about ghost baby being, like, illegally prisoned or something like that. Illegally imprisoned. Never do what I just did there. I got very lucky to not take damage. Uh, we're really hoping for a deal with the devil that lets us trade Death's Touch, man. Death's Touch is like the be-all, end-all great item here. Should have cracked that skull. Whatever, though. Curse of the Maze. Annoying, but not really that big of a deal in the whole scheme of things. All you really gotta do is turn your attention. Like, the soy milk tears don't even really... Thank you for not being full health. We should be more careful about that in the future. The soy milk tears really don't do that much damage on their own. Not as bad as your usual soy milk tears, though. But what they do is they mark a target for destruction. And then the flies come in and are like, That one? All right, boss. This room is worth it, I think. So it's really, really just like we're painting our targets. And then the flies just destroy them. Thank God we got hive mind, man. Otherwise, that soy milk pickup might have destroyed us. But as is, I think it's actually made this run a lot more fun, if not necessarily objectively stronger. I don't think that's necessarily worth it. And if we can just, you know, keep generate the flies ourselves and keep the fly army bumping here, then I'm happy with it. Another tiers upgrade, I doubt that that's going to be useful. And here we are, that's awesome, actually. We're going to lose a lot of our flies here. Not that it matters too much for our actual survival. You know this one? No. Alright, well, let's try it. Headless Horseman. Thank God for those options is all I can say about that, really. And we'll totally take the screw, which is not that good, but it's good enough. And Sacrificial Dagger is not at all what I was looking for. But it does allow us to guilt-free stay in the Whore of Babylon state, so I'm alright with that. Where's our other pill? I always get so confused with Curse of the Maze, man. All right. <laughs> That's that then. All right, so no more deals with the devil. I'm very happy with the sacrificial dagger pickup, but we'll be moving on to the next floor now. We could get death's touch on the chest. It's a thing that happens. By the way, fuck you. I'm not re-rolling this run game. Yes, cricket said. Uh death's touch is conceivable. It happens on the chest sometimes. Um, I would, it, you know, if I'm being more realistic, a really realistic upgrade that would be nice to have would be any form of piercing shots or rubber cements. Those would, I mean, I, I ask for those all the time. It's, it's I'm, I'm almost, it's like its own running joke or something. But, uh, those would also help us out here. Those would be amazing. Not that we need any help for that matter. Like, this, 
This run is straight up won a hundred different ways. There's Purple Harp, but there was also a pill back there. I suppose there actually is a use for Hagala's Rune. At first I was like, well, this kind of sucks. We already have the ability to destroy everything, but we could use Hagala's Rune to save some time. And also to safely blow up uh, Bomb Rocks if we uh, don't want to take the risk ourselves. Which, why would we? Not sure which way is the right way here. Really, uh, I should have kept Ace of Spades because I'm really hoping for a Joker card. And a Joker card would have helped out, uh, you know, get rid of this last Red Heart. And also maybe pick up a high damage item in the process. Ooh, that's not at all what I was looking for. <laughs> at first I was like, we got our Joker card, bitches. But nah, it uh, doesn't really matter. Could have gone down to Shoal and completely ruined our run. Hey, don't do what I just did there. That was not a very smart decision. I didn't think that one through. Ain't nobody strong as me with soy milk and guppy. There we go. Also got enough HP with soy milk and guppy. Cadence is a little weird. Yeah, oh, I'm happy to have the speed upgrades after getting those Thunder Thighs pickups. Range up and pick up, I should say, not pickups. Still not crazy fast, but that's not that big of a deal. Oh my god. And of course, you know, people are going to want me to say Libra. If Libra shows up, I'd be happy to have it. We ignored the Eternal Heart. I was still a little worried I was going to pick it up, but uh, I chose not to because it would ruin uh, Horror of Babylon, which would be really, really stupid for us in this situation. You know, if you get gifted a, a run with good damage soy milk, you don't want to just trade that away for nothing. Do we already get Small Rock on this run? I think we might have. Why even bother looking for Tinted Rocks? You can just crush all the ones that even look vaguely similar. Very dumb damage on my part. I'm I'm so not concerned, like I can't stress that enough. We have 12 lives, so even if shit hits the fan, can we win, like against uh, Blue Baby or Isaac with one life? I think the answer is absolutely. As long as we have uh, Book of Belial, and even if we don't, there's still a really good chance. Like, look at how much damage those flies actually do when you get in the moment. Okay, here's where the Joker cards would be most useful. Don't be shy. Even Mega Fatty's going down pretty quickly. Oh, I forgot that we had uh, the Celtic Cross effect. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, that is the Celtic Cross effect from Virgo. That's awesome. We'll be able to do a ton of damage to enemies when they get up in our grill. I don't know why. Goathead is like an 80% chance to actually spawn. Seemingly, at least, has an 80% chance to spawn when you're on the Cathedral. A little annoying. Hoping that maybe this is a secret room. I'm low on keys. Shouldn't have been opening so many golden chests, but but I've done it. Um, in fact, you know what? We might just gamble on this thing for a little while, just to hopefully get some keys. And I don't think, like, it, it might summon some flies, but I don't think those flies are going to live too long against my flies. Either way, you know, two spirit hearts is a really good payout for our investment here. At least let me open the items in the chest. I realized I was stupid to be opening so many golden chests in advance here, but still, I would like it. Okay, a little bit more money. Alright. Could still get a key or two for blowing it up. There we go. See, I was optimistic. Piece paw. Even better, actually. Get some more spirit hearts, and now we are completely permanent Polaroid invincibility and can even pick up an HP on the next floor if one shows up. Well, I guess we're just going to go down to the next floor and get our keys then. We could farm this one, but we're probably going to farm up the chest a little bit anyway. Again, it's all about just marking the target. We don't actually need to be in there to deal that much damage. This is all about, uh, it's the fly's time to shine. Man, that is good. Oh my god, that took out like the last 20% of Isaac's HP in like, like a second and a half maybe? That's nuts. No curse. Hey, no curse. All right. Anarchist cookbook. Mago, baby. Not particularly enthusiastic about those items. High Priestess is, you know, mildly helpful, but we're already doing a crazy amount of damage ourselves, so... 
Not feeling like it's going to be immediately, or it's, it's going to be long term very useful, I should say. Range up. Come on, just a couple more keys. I'll be salty if I don't get at least to open all the items in the chest. Even if they suck, at least I know they suck if I open them myself, you know? Nothing there. Maybe a chest? You could just skip the middle, man. Yeah. Alright, this is a weird one. Strange attractor. Of course I'm gonna take it. But I think with soy milk, this is gonna be fucking strange. Not necessarily bad, but weird. Either way, there's pretty much no way we come out of this one without a win. Oop! And uh, actually, the permanent Polaroid invincibility is a huge help. Yumheart, a little less so. But, uh... I'm thinking Strange Attractor was probably a bad pickup, as it often is. But you just gotta, you know, throw your both arms around the absurdity of the run sometimes. You gotta go, you know, you gotta jump in with both feet. Otherwise, you'll never end up having runs like this. You know, you could have easily just taken Book of Revelations or, or an HP upgrade from that uh, boss rush room. You wouldn't be having nearly as crazy a time right now. Not super excited about Hourglass being there either. That's a pretty poor payout. Might want to get that penny. We'll see. For now, though, I'm, this is actually one of the runs in uh, that I've had in Rebirth that I'm happiest about. Like this, this run has just been very exciting, and uh, I. I really like it. Like, I really like Hive Mind, man. It shows up all the time, and for a while I was like, I don't get Hive Mind. I get Hive Mind now. All you need is Guppy plus Soy Milk. <laughs> all you need is like that 1% chance to have Guppy and Soy Milk, and then you're in a great situation. So, admittedly, Unicorn Stump is just crazy here. We'd be generating so many flies that um, we would just, I and mean, with Sacrificial Dagger especially, we would be able to do a ton of damage to enemies. Uh, without putting ourselves at any risk at all, which is really nice with something like Strange Attractor, which is getting me hit quite a lot here. However, uh, I think Book of Belial, we've stuck with it for like the whole run. I want to stick with it now and this time as well. You know, you've been here for the whole time. I'm not trading away a journeyman third line center on our team, you know, right at the trade deadline when we got a good chance to go to the Stanley Cup Finals. You know, you've put in your dues here, and we're going to win together or not at all, Book of Belial. Plus, Book of Belial is still really good. And arguably better than Unicorn Stump, even in this scenario, which is kind of heavily weighted towards Unicorns. Unicorn Stump. Very stupid of me to stand right there, but man, one period of, of invincibility is all I need to take out most enemies. Harlequin Baby, and here we go. Yeah, I'm, come on, hit me. I want you to hit me. I, am actually, I actually do want to get hit so that we can see how fast we can actually do this up close and personally. That was crazy. This is a fun run. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.